Today I'm going to be cleaning this little VW up, which is a car that I do like to maintain quite frequently, but just haven't had time recently, so it's looking a lot dirtier than I would like it to. So I've got some products that have been sent for review by the brands, and I'm going to be giving you my honest thoughts on all of them throughout the video. The first thing that I did on this car was use Stjarnagos Force to pre-wash the wheels and I also used that product in the arches with the Easy Go brush to give those a good scrub and remove any built up mud. This is a very powerful cleaner but not particularly economical considering that you have to use it neat, however it is just an easy one to grab and go when I don't really want to mix up any chemicals. I also sprayed some Stjarnagos Force onto the tyres as it works really well to deep clean the rubber and I went for a 1 in 5 mixture of PNS Brake Buster in the IK Foamer to clean the alloys. I didn't need something super strong here as the pre-wash had removed the vast majority of the dirt and brake dust from the alloys, I just needed something that was going to provide a bit of lubrication in order to safely contact clean these diamond cut alloys. I then sprayed a 5% solution of Built Hamber Atom Mark onto the brake disc to stop them rusting up too much throughout the wash process. The next thing that I did was pre-wash the car using a 1 in 10 mixture of the Garage Therapy Snow Foam and this is the version 2 of that product. In terms of the differences between version 1 and 2, this version is actually a bit thinner but does have the benefit of a longer dwell time as the previous version did produce quite a thick and heavy foam which tended to drag itself down the panels and not dwell for quite as long. It does still only hang around for around 5-6 to six minutes on the panels which is relatively short compared to a lot of snow foams that I've tried, however that doesn't impair the cleaning ability and it really does excel in that aspect which for me is the most important thing when it comes to snow foam in the car, as it means on a reasonably well maintained vehicle I don't have to use a citrus pre-wash underneath it which saves me a bit of time and extra product. To contact wash the car I used a favourite product of mine which is the Garage Therapy with Car Shampoo and a favourite method which is to actually apply it in a foam cannon at a 1 in 10 dilution and then continue with the contact wash as normal. Getting all that product onto the panels not only helps to kind of speed it up a little bit but also helps to actually lubricate the panels a lot more and just feels super slick and safe when I'm contact washing the car. I find that about 25ml into 250ml of water is perfectly fine with this particular product which is quite a low amount to be using so it's very economical. This method and product is something that I use on my own vehicle most frequently as it just kind of ticks all the boxes for me.
There wasn't any protection remaining on the alloy, so I did just top that up using Autoglans Prism, which is one of my favourite products to do this, as it's just really quick and easy. About six weeks prior to filming this video, I had applied Strana Gloss Parlour to the panels and it was actually performing pretty well given that there was no prep involved. The glass was also looking good too, which I had previously protected using the Pyramid Car Care glass coating and have kept maintained using the Soft 99 Glaco Cleaner. This meant that I was able to clear most of the water from the panels using just an open hose, which just makes the overall process a touch easier. However, to thoroughly dry the vehicle, I did use a combination of my car dryer, the Blow Air RS, and the Rag Company Plus All Microfiber Towel before moving on to adding some protection. To give the protection a bit of a boost in terms of slickness, gloss and hydrophobicity, I did actually use the Garage Therapy Quick Detailer Spray. This product is designed to maintain existing protection and can either be used as a drying aid or on a dry panel as I'm using here. The process was very very quick and easy and I was able to get around this car in just under 5 minutes using the Garage Therapy Utility Towel to spread the product and then just flip it and buff it away. I also used this product on the glass just to help top up the protection there too and it was a very painless process and didn't leave any streaks or smears behind and like it did on the paintwork it added some noticeable slickness to the surface as well. On the tyres I went for Infinity Wax Tyre Coat which is a sprayable dressing that leaves a nice satin finish. The consistency makes it very easy to apply to pretty much any kind of tyre wall whether it's a smoother one like this or one with a bit more texture and it adds a really nice darkening effect without looking too over the top and typically lasts around two to three weeks. <laughs> 